China's statistical agencies recently unveiled their economic figures for the initial quarter of 2023. Although we expressed some reservations about their accuracy in our previous video, the overall results were positive. The year-on-year -year GDP growth surpassed expectations, reaching 4.5%, primarily propelled by increased household consumption. This aligns with the Chinese Communist Party's ongoing efforts to promote such consumption patterns. Amidst the positive figures, there was one significantly negative aspect in China's economic data, the alarming rate of youth unemployment. Although overall unemployment decreased from 5.6% to 5.3% across various age groups, the unemployment rate among 16 to 24-year-olds actually rose from 18% to 20%. To put it into perspective, this rate is roughly twice as high as that of the UK, three times higher than that of the US, and four times higher than that of Germany. Consequently, in this video, we will delve into China's pressing issue of youth unemployment, its implications for the Chinese Communist Party, and whether Xi Jinping can effectively address this crisis. The main point of focus is the alarmingly high rate of youth unemployment in China. In the 1990s, the youth unemployment rate in China was relatively low, remaining around 5%. However, it gradually increased to approximately 10% during the 2000s. Throughout the 2010s, it remained relatively stable, fluctuating between 9 and 11 percent. Then, in 2020, it surged to around 12 percent. This significant increase can largely be attributed to the impact of the pandemic and China's strict zero-COVID policy, which placed a burden on the Chinese economy. Urban areas were particularly affected by the impact, with the average youth unemployment rate among 16 to 24-year-olds reaching approximately 14% and peaking at 16.8% in June 2020. It was anticipated that the situation would improve after China reopened its economy by abandoning the zero-COVID approach. However, despite the overall recovery of China's economy, youth unemployment has persistently remained high. In fact, it increased to 19.6% in March, up from 18.1% in February. This marks the second highest recorded figure, with the highest being during the extensive Shanghai lockdown period. In general, three primary reasons contributed to the situation. Firstly, despite China's economy showing a stronger recovery than anticipated, it has not yet fully returned to pre-pandemic levels. Although exports have remained robust, the Chinese Communist Party's crackdown on specific private industries has had a negative impact on the private sector, resulting in a decline in job opportunities. A survey conducted in November by 51Job, a job listing website, among 100 China-based employers revealed that over half of the respondents expressed plans to decrease hiring in 2023. Second, it is common for China's youth unemployment rate to experience a spike during this time of year, when the latest batch of college students begins their job search ahead of the graduation season in June and July. This influx of job seekers contributes to the temporary rise in youth unemployment rates. Thirdly, similar to their British and American counterparts, young Chinese individuals are facing the issue of underemployment. This refers to a situation where individuals are employed in jobs that do not fully utilize their qualifications and skills. In China, there has been a growing trend of fewer individuals pursuing higher education, resulting in an increasing number of highly educated graduates and postgraduates competing for a limited number of white-collar positions. This is a phenomenon also observed in the UK and the US, where 43% and 41% of graduates respectively end up in jobs that do not necessarily require a college degree, especially during the initial years in the job market. The issue becomes more pronounced in China due to the significant increase in the number of graduates over the past two decades, which has grown tenfold. This rise also extends to postgraduates. However, many of these graduates and postgraduates are reluctant to accept manual labor or blue collar jobs. This situation poses a problem as it leads to dissatisfaction among young Chinese individuals and undermines the implicit agreement between the Chinese Communist Party and the people. This agreement suggests that the CCP can maintain its rule without democratic checks and balances as long as it ensures stable economic opportunities. Additionally, it creates a generational tension between the younger generation who perceive fewer opportunities compared to their parents 
and the older generation who often view them as ungrateful or lazy for rejecting low-skilled job opportunities. In recent months, the Chinese Communist Party or CCP has implemented numerous initiatives with the aim of reducing the high youth unemployment rate. These measures include the announcement of subsidies for companies that hire younger workers and the relaxation of stringent regulations, particularly in the private sector, such as the tech industry that typically employs many young individuals. Additionally, certain provinces have taken steps such as offering free accommodation for college students seeking employment. Chinese state media has also been featuring segments encouraging students to consider blue-collar jobs, even showcasing profiles of college graduates earning significant incomes in low-skilled positions. However, these efforts have faced significant opposition from the majority of young Chinese individuals. In fact, a WeChat channel affiliated with the state received backlash last month when it advised young graduates to discard their suits, roll up their sleeves, and pursue work in farmlands. Can the Chinese government successfully reduce youth unemployment with these measures? While these are substantial efforts, the outcome is uncertain. The CCP has a track record of effectively steering the economy through its policies, but there are challenges ahead. Firstly, there is a continuous influx of graduates into the job market. Currently, there are around 35 million students enrolled in graduate studies. Moreover, due to the current unfavorable job market conditions, more Chinese individuals are opting for postgraduate degrees. According to the Chinese Ministry of Education, the number of Chinese students enrolling in postgraduate programs in 2023 has exceeded 5 million, which is more than double the figure from just five years ago. However, there is a significant challenge for China's export-driven economy to maintain its rapid growth rate primarily due to its largest export markets such as the United States and Europe taking steps to reduce their dependence on China. While the extent of the economic coupling between China and the West is a matter of debate, geopolitical tensions are likely to continue affecting the Chinese economy in the coming years. This will pose difficulties for Beijing in achieving the necessary levels of economic growth to accommodate the substantial influx of graduates. It is important to note that while it is not impossible and the CCP has demonstrated remarkable skill in keeping the Chinese people satisfied in recent decades, the road ahead will not be easy. In conclusion, the issue of youth unemployment in China poses significant challenges for the government and the country's economic landscape. While the Chinese government has implemented various initiatives to address this problem, including subsidies for firms, hiring young workers, and relaxing private sector regulations, the task ahead remains formidable. Factors such as a continuous influx of graduates coupled with potential headwinds from geopolitical tensions and a shifting global economy make it difficult to achieve sustained economic growth and employment opportunities for the youth.